Hello, welcome to God Thoughts. I thought I would share a flow, some flows of thoughts and things um, that came to mind on July 13th, 2023. And so basically, here's how it went. Um, understand, we are dealing with a serpent named Lucifer, just as Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden um, Look what happened when they were deceived into taking just a bite of the fruit from the knowledge of good and evil. Just as in our lives, look what happens from one sin, let alone thousands of sins we have committed in our lives. We got to wake up. There are huge consequences to our choices, even just one or two choices. It, it really can make a big difference in our lives, you know. Um, hindsight of course is 2020 to see where we could have you know we've seen the red flags and we ignored them right um, but we need to wake up now and um, be really careful about decisions and choices that we're making and not to be deceived um, so anyway again this life is a spiritual battle for the destiny of our souls the huge fight between good and evil Recognize the snake. It is not just poisonous, but deadly. First of all, spiritually, then physically. So in the Garden of Eden, when they had taken from the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, um, Lucifer had said, surely that won't die if you take of this fruit, right? But um, they did. Like, if it, they did start dying physically, but also... They died spiritually because they were separated from God because of the sin that they had done. You know, he warned, he told them not to take of that fruit, and they did. So, um, let's see what else I want to share with you. Um, so, okay, so look at our world today. Aren't we all about obtaining knowledge? So, here they were told not to take. They could eat of any fruit, any fruit and vegetables in the garden, but they were told not to eat of this one specific tree, the knowledge of good and evil. So look at us today. We all are about obtaining knowledge. And where does that knowledge lead us? Yes, to know good and evil. When God created the earth, animals, the, the sea life, um, man and woman, he said it is all good. Why did God put the tree um, of knowledge and good and evil in the garden? And did, did you know there was a tree of life also in the garden as well? So in which they did um, eat of. So they did eat of the tree of um, life as well before they had taken of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Um, let's see, and then um, the first thing that happened, you know, after they had taken of that, one of the first things that had happened, um, God had done is he had put guard, guardian angels over that tree of knowledge and good and evil once Adam and Eve had eaten from that tree. And um, so he was, what he did is he was actually protecting them you know from living their life for from eternity in a sinful state so if they had after they had taken of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil if they would have ate right after that of the tree of life they would have stayed in that sinful state and and so God intervened you know and put the guardian angels over the tree of knowledge of good and evil and then of course he did kick him out of the garden um, so I just wanted to share I'm so glad aren't you that God kept them from one continuing to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil but now also the tree of life for um, he kicked them out of the garden which I just said already and Let's see. And then heaven, let's see. Oh, okay. Just 
So here Adam and Eve are kicked out of the Garden of Eden just as Lucifer was kicked out of heaven for sinning. Because Lucifer had a choice in heaven to, you know, do what he did or not do what he did. Um, just as Adam and Eve had a choice to take of that fruit or not take of that fruit. So, um, and so what's interesting about Lucifer you know that he wanted to be God himself and and when when he was created by God which is crazy that he would want to be God himself um, the very person that created him and gave him his life and position and everything that he was in in heaven so it was it's just mad and or insane that you know he would even think that right but um so we all need to wake up and see what's really going on in our lives and in the lives of all of mankind we need to wake up and smell the roses what good are the roses on a grave why is a funeral called a wake when the person is dead shouldn't we all wake up while we are still alive and gather the wisdom from knowledge about what this life is really about we are mortals well here yet after physical death we are immortal we will live beyond earth just where will we live beyond earth is our choice lucifer had a beautiful home in heaven till he, till he gets a wild idea to think that he could be greater than the one who created him wow really Look how long Lucifer has lived in this state of existence. Proof there is no ending of to, proving that there's no ending to life spiritually. Um, Lord, help us all to wake up. Our lives depend on you for all good or any good to come out of this life lived. Please, Father, bind the enemy of our souls. Bring us out of the darkness to our to your light of truth. Help us all to not be deceived anymore. And then I just prayed pretty much, thank you for intervening and giving us another option to choose life and to not choose death anymore. Sending your son, Jesus, Yeshua, to pay our sin debt of forgiveness for our souls. To have a choice of spiritual and eternal destiny to be out of this world of chaos and evil one day life for eternity because of what Jesus did is in being the last sacrificial lamb for the sins and remission of sins for the world just as Eve and Adam had a choice to partake of the forbidden fruit we have a choice to accept um, accept the fruit from the tree of life uh, God's choice and his best his best choice um, if we choose to accept God's son we are forgiven what um, let's see we want and want to do we if we choose God's son and we are forgiven and we want to do good and we want to communicate with our maker um, we want to live in heavenly bliss one day all of what we do it's a choice so please choose wisely and put a stop to deviation devastation demolition division and detriment in the time we have left to live out our days in the uh, in and on this planet called earth May God save us from ourselves and from the hands of Lucifer and the, fall, the fall, Lucifer the fallen fallen angel and his cohorts. Um, choose life in all our all your choices, physically, emotionally, financially, and most of all, spiritually. Lord God, help us all remove the veil of fog, lift every single scale from our eyes, that we might walk the path of life. The lighted path of righteousness for the sake of Jesus, Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, and with the power of the Lord Almighty, Holy Spirit, Protector and Spirit Guide, in Jesus Christ, Savior and King. 
Let's see. Um, okay, it's a choice. Don't be deceived. And so that's what my message is. And um, thank you for checking out the channel. And like and subscribe and share if you'd like. Take care and God bless. And this, this was titled, actually, It's a Choice. So that's the title God gave me for that. Okay, God bless. Okay, bye.